Hey, welcome to part three of our coin flip app. We're going to do some fixing on our application. Even though it's working, it doesn't look very nice in the code. So some of the things that we're going to fix in here are some extra for loops and this item called the ternary operator. So let's get started. So before I just show you the example, I think it would be good to look at a tutorial page. And so I googled ternary operator C sharp example in Google and let's see what comes up on our tutorials teacher page. So the danger that you'll slip away and look at a different teacher. Here we go. So the ternary operator looks like this. We have an X and a Y value that are both integers and we're going to save a new result and we're going to do a comparison here. So the comparison says is X greater than Y. Then the second part is the options. If that is true then we're going to print x is greater than y. If it is false, we will do what's after the colon, which is x is less than y. And then we will save it into here. So it's a combination of a if statement and an else statement and an assignment. It's all put on one line. So let's see if we can make that work in our example. So we can make this uh, if statement and else statement all on one line. So I want to assign picture box one an image and I'm going to assign it an image based on the property of is heads. So coin zero is heads is either a true or a false. The question mark says, let's go to the right side and pick one of these. If it is true, then we're going to pick the first one, which is the properties, resources, quarter heads. If it's false, then we'll pick the other one, which is quarter tails. And so that is one line instead of six or seven. So I'm going to copy and paste this one line and modify it. So we will take picture box two, picture box three, picture box four, and five. And then remember, we're off by one on the counting. So zero goes with one, one goes with zero, or one goes with two, two goes with three. And so we go from zero to four for the coins. Now for the rest of these, I can delete them. So all of those if statements are now shortened with a ternary operator. So you ask yourself, what's the advantage of the ternary operator? It's simply for space. Uh, you don't have to use the ternary operator. You can program an entire application without it, but you're going to see it and you might as well know what it does. So here it is. Now I'm going to test it just to make sure it still works and I haven't broken anything. So I'll flip the coin and it looks like it's still running. So we've got ourselves a coin flipper. Now it's always a good idea to comment your code because other people are going to look at it and a year from now when you come back into here you're going to need some help to understand what's going on. So simply tell it what you expect to happen. So this is to display the labels and then the second part is set the pictures. So let's summarize what we've learned here. Uh, in the coin flip app we worked with arrays. So we have arrays of coins. We worked with a for loop in many occasions. Also we worked with a class, the class called coin and we saw that the coin had a property called is heads and then we had a method called flip coin. So that's a real simple class. Then we had image resources that we imported and we were able to assign to picture boxes. And then finally, I showed you the ternary operator so that way you can have shorter statements instead of all these ifs with a bunch of brackets. So that's a lot of things that you've learned. Practice, see if you can improve on this application, maybe make uh, more than just quarters, see if you can play a game, maybe add up the number of each and display the totals of heads and tails, Think of ways that you could make the app a little bit more interesting because experimenting and practicing is the best way that you're going to remember what you just learned.